How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome to another OBS Studio tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the custom docs to be able to bring in your YouTube chat since it's not really integrated and that's kind of a bust. So what you're going to want to do is go over to YouTube and you're going to want to open up one of your streams and you can see your chat here, but that's that's fine if you want to look at your chat here or if you want to look at it whenever you're streaming. But if you want to be able to bring this chat in, what you're going to want to do is click on the three dots. You're going to go to pop out chat. You're going to take this link up here in the browser and you're going to do control C to copy. And then we're going to go back to OBS. And what we're going to want to do is set up a custom doc, which I already have set up. But what you're going to want to do is go up to view docs, custom browser docs. And as you can see, I already have one set up. So you're just going to give it a name and then you're going to control V to paste it and hit apply. So what that's going to do is that's going to then populate that right here, just like how you see mine. Since I already had it set up, it didn't go and populate it, but it was already there. Now what we need to do is take this and bring it over here into our chat area. So we're going to find our source that we have for our chat and I have mine labeled as YouTube chat browser source. So I'm going to right click, go to properties. And since it's blank, we're going to go and do control V hit OK. And there we go. So I'm going to type in here in the chat. I'm just going to say hi. And then there it is right there. So every time you have to stream, you have to go and set this up. So that's the only downside to it. So it's easy to set up. It's just tedious to have to constantly do it over and over and over again because the stream chat and everything changes every time, every time you start a new stream. So that is the only downside to it, but that is at least your workaround for it. And obviously you can still go through the other stuff I've mentioned in my other video about the chat box where you can go and resize it and everything like that. So Definitely go ahead and take a look at that video if you guys need any help with that. But I wanted to at least show you guys how to do the custom doc for the chat, especially for us, for those of us who stream over on YouTube, because this is like the only way I've been able to figure a workaround for it. But if you guys know a workaround that works better, let me know in the comment section below. I'll give it a try. And if it works a lot easier and a lot better, I have no problem sharing it with everybody else and even using it for my own self. But anyways, if you guys are new to the channel and you're wanting to learn about the tech side of streaming, be sure to go ahead and subscribe, click the bell icon, make sure you like this video, and I'll see you guys either on a live stream here over on YouTube or in the next video. But thank you so much for watching and take care.